going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this diamond stitch. And it's very easy to make. All you need to, to know is how to chain, how to do a single crochet, and how to do a triple crochet. And the triple crochet will be worked uh, on the single crochet, so technically it's called a front post triple crochet. But as long as you know how to do the triple crochet, you can do it. So not a problem. This stitch is worked in multiples of four. So all you need to do for if you're making a blanket or something, because see how it looks on the other side, it's kind of flat, but you can see where the diamonds are on the other side. So it would make a nice hat or uh, a blanket. All you need to do is chain in multiples of four until it reaches the size that you want, which is what I did here. So let me move this out of the way. What you do is just chain in multiples of four and then you start single crocheting in the second chain from the hook and you crochet down all of your stitches. The first three rows are going to be just single crochet. So this is just three rows of single crochet. And then when you get to row four, you chain one and then you turn. And this is where your diamond shape starts. So you want to do a triple crochet, so you're going to be yarning over twice and then you're going to be skipping this is the end stitch here so this is your very first single crochet of the round and then this is your second single crochet of the row sorry I'm talking rows so this is your second single crochet of the row on row one you're going to be working in row one you'll always be working two rows down whenever you're working the diamond stitch so you're going to skip that first single crochet and then you're going to be going in between that first and second single crochet and then you're going to come up on the other side of that single crochet. Basically you're pulling that up just like that. You're working on the actual post of the single crochet. You want to yarn over, pull through that stitch and now you have four loops on your hook yarn over you'll be pulling through two loops at a time so that's one two and three that's your first front post triple crochet and then up at the top the row four where you're working right now you can see this is the very first single crochet of the round and this is the second single crochet of the round you want to put your first single crochet right here, right now. In, in the second single crochet, you'll be putting a single crochet. And then you'll be putting a single crochet in the next three stitches as well for a total of four single crochets in a row. So once you have your four single crochets, you're going to be making the other way of the diamond to make your V. So you're going to be making your triple crochet, your front post triple crochet again. But we're going to be working not in the same single crochet, but the one right next to it. To make your diamond stitches, you'll always be working with the two stitches beside one another. So in this stitch right here, yarn over twice for the triple crochet, then go into that stitch that I just showed you. Pull up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two loops at a time. Should be able to do this three times. And see how the V is there now? Now, when you get the second V part done, you're going to automatically start your next diamond. So, we just did one front post triple crochet and now we're going to be doing another. So you'll yarn over twice and then from this single crochet where you attached it on the first row, you're going to be counting over five stitches. So you'll count one, two, three, four, five. And in this fifth single crochet here, you're going to be doing your front post triple crochet onto that. So slip your hook in between the fourth and fifth single crochet and pull up that fifth single crochet. Yarn over, pull a loop through, 
And then you're going to yarn over again and pull through two loops at a time to do your triple crochet. Now, just like before, you're going to be doing your four single crochets in a row. But from now on, after you do your second triple crochet, you're going to be skipping two stitches before you do your, your single crochet. So it's easier if you just pull it down like this, find the last stitch worked where you um, single crocheted after your last time, which is your four single crochets from last time. So let me just show you a little closer here. So I see that this stitch here, you can even move it around, remove the hair. So you can see this stitch has worked. So you want to count over one, two. Skip those two stitches so you'll be working in this third right here. So just going to grab my loop again. So again, I see this is the last stitch worked. So I count one, two. I'll be skipping those two. And then this third is where I'm going to begin my set of four single crochets. So this is one. That's my loop is a little big there. So this will be one, two, three, and four. Once you've got your four done again, let me just back up a bit. Once you've got your four done again, you'll be doing your other side of your diamond again. So you'll be yarning over twice and again this is the last time uh, you did the triple crochet and then in the stitch right next to it you'll be inserting your hook and pulling up that stitch that single crochet pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops at a time to do your triple crochet and then again you want to do another triple crochet right away you'll be counting over five stitches from the last uh, place, I mean from the single crochet here where you attached your front post single crochet, you'll count over one, two, three, four, five. And in this fifth single crochet, you'll be putting your triple crochet. And then once you have that point, you know that you're gonna have to do those skipping two stitches. Behind this, this point, you always skip two stitches so if it helps again pull this down find the last stitch worked which is this one count over two stitches one two then this third one here is where you will do your first single crochet whoops remember you're doing four single crochets in a row so that's two three and four And again, you do a triple crochet into the stitch beside the last triple crochet worked. And then these last two stitches of the row, usually I skip one and then I, I go into the very last one just to kind of give it space. But no matter what I do, sometimes I get that extra stitch. That's okay, you should count your stitches and if you get an extra one, <clears throat> excuse me, if you get an extra one than the one that you have right now, that's okay. Um, as long as you're, you're kind of staying consistent. And I'll show you what I mean. Like for instance, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I have nineteen stitches on my very first, I mean on my uh, single crochet area. So I can count my stitches here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Then it would be nineteen and twenty. So by me skipping this one stitch, and then just single crocheting in the last stitch will keep me consistent with 19. But like I said, sometimes when I do a few more rows, I may miss one, but that's okay. If you have an extra one here on the end, just single crochet two instead of one. 
it won't make that much of a difference. So don't worry about it being, you know, perfect. So once you get done with a diamond row, I call these diamond rows, and you'll also have it, of course, the top of the diamond. Every time you have one of these uh, uh, rows where you have to do your triple crochet front post, uh, after that there will always be three rows of single crochet. So you've just completed one of the uh, diamond rows. So now do three rows of single crochet. So all I'm going to do is just chain one, turn, start my first row, then go back and then go forward. You always have three rows and it will bring you back up to your third row. You should be here on this side ready to start the next diamond row and I'll see you then. Okay, I just got done with my three single crochet rows and I'm chaining one and I'm turning. Now I'm back where I need to be. Now for this row, which I guess would be four, five, six, seven, I'm on my eighth row now. Row eight, you want to single crochet in your first two stitches. And then you want to do your front post uh, triple crochet in the single crochet above the triple crochet. Let me just move that there. So, if you can see here, this is where your triple crochet is from this row, and then right above it, you can see the single crochet. I mean, you may not be able to recognize it, but I can recognize it by the two stitches like this. I know that that's a single crochet. So that's my single crochet right above my triple crochet. That's where you want to put your triple crochet right now. So you're going to yarn over twice, find that stitch above your triple crochet, and then into that single crochet do a triple crochet. And now, I wonder if it would be better if you could see it without this light. Oh, it's hard to know. It almost seems too bright. Okay, so right away, since we're going into a point like this, this is our first point. So when you're going to a point, you automatically need to do the other um, triple crochet. So we're going to be doing another triple crochet. So you're going to yarn over twice. And now, again, I'm going to show you, see how your point comes up and how we always skipped two stitches. And then, of course, when we did our single crochets for three rows, we single crocheted in those two stitches that we had skipped. But you can easily see on your own project, there's one single crochet above this one and one single crochet above this front post triple crochet. You will always be working in these. So you essentially it's going to be like an X connecting these two and to the two single crochets below. So find that single crochet above this front post triple crochet and do your triple crochet. See now it's kind of forming an X. You use these two single crochets here and these two single crochets. Well, these weren't single crochets, but well, actually they are because you uh, you skip them and then you put single crochets in them. But just know you're looking for the X, making an X. So to complete this side, again, you'll find that last stitch worked and then skip those two stitches and then in this third, start your single crochets of four in a row. And then you do your triple crochet again. So find the other single crochet that's on top of this front post triple crochet. So you go one row up, go into that one, pull it up, and do your triple crochet. And then again, you're going into your point again of the diamond. Oops, this way. So you're got to remember when you're at that point you're always going to do another triple crochet right away. So I'm going to find the next single crochet on top of this triple crochet 
just here and do a triple crochet. Then again, skip that, skip those two stitches, find the last stitch worked, skip one, two, and then this third single crochet is where you're going to start your set of four single crochets. And then again, triple crochet on the next single crochet to form your X. And then in between, of course, you have your diamonds. So we just did that peak so of this side, so now we need to do the other peak. So we're automatically going to do our next, just find that stitch above the front post triple crochet. Now again, you're going to be finding the last stitch of work, count over two, one, two to skip, and then this third stitch, you're going to play. You put your um, single crochet. And then I'm just going to single crochet in these last. So I have three single crochets here. And now I just want to count my stitches. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. I have 19 stitches. So I still have my 19. And like I said, now that you've done another um, triple crochet, diamond row as I call them, you need to do another set of three single crochet rows. So you just chain one and start your single crochets again. Okay, I just did three more rows. So um, I just got done with row 11. And again, you chain one and you turn and you're ready to start your diamond stitch again. And remember, it's just like you did here on the very first row. You just start right off with a triple crochet. And again, remember, you don't go in the first single crochet of the round and be careful because this side one, the very side stitches here, don't count them. You go uh, the very first single crochet of the round and then you find the second single crochet of the round and the second one is the one that you want to pull up and do your triple crochet in. And then you're going to find the second single crochet of the round. So again, this first single crochet you're going to skip, then the second you're going to start your set of four. Three and four. Then you'll do your front post single crochet. You're going to be finding your um, single crochet here. Actually this, uh, I'm going to back up a moment. Because here, if you look on your diamond here, this is the first, I mean, this is the two single crochets you're supposed to be working. So it's actually this row, it's going to be the third single crochet of the row. So go ahead and just triple crochet. I guess you're going to skip one, two, and then this third, you're going to put your triple crochet above the other triple crochet. These are the stitches you have to work with to stay consistent. So then you're going to skip the first two stitches and then the third stitch you're going to put your four single crochets. And then do your triple crochet worked and this single crochet above this front post triple crochet. This is the cool thing about stitches like this that even when I was telling you before, if you mess up a little bit, have one or two stitches on the end, it doesn't really matter because if you just follow the pattern, which is always doing those two single crochets in that spot, then you're not gonna, you're not gonna have a problem. So in this one, we're do, we've done this side, so we need to automatically do its other peak immediately. So we're going to do a triple crochet, find the single crochet in the top of the next front post triple crochet, and in that single crochet, you're going to be doing your triple crochet. And again, find that last stitch worked, and then skip one, two, and then the third, start your four. Just like that. And like I said, the ends may change here and there, but always try to count your stitches, try to stay as consistent as you can. Remember, always work in the the single crochets above the triple crochet and that's it. 
you're pretty much going to be doing the exact same pattern here just like this and that's it that is how you do the diamond stitch I will have pictures on my pattern and uh, to make it as easy as I can I'll be marking out the stitches on the pictures so that if you can't see it very well in this video feel free to go there uh, it could help you out and that's it please like and share this video it helps me so much and please don't forget to follow me on Facebook if you haven't I always share the most latest news there or you can sign up uh, my site for the newsletter so thank you so much for watching